Chris, another long-term water user. Um, I want to ask you to adopt the report before you as adopted, uh, as recommended by the Water Commission and if nothing else comes out of this conversation, it's clear that it's extremely complex. Um, a lot of work has been done on all the issues suggested, repairing leaks, investigating other options, but statistics, use patterns, uh, environmental situations do change and that's exactly why you are looking at an update. Um, the system, as you know, is under stress right now. Right now, our aquifers are being depleted. Right now, we face the certainty, not the exact number, but the certainty that we will be allowed to take less from our North Coast streams in the future. We know for certainty that as economic recovery happens and our general plan build-out occurs over the next couple of decades, uh, that there will be need for additional supply. And we, we know that there's great uncertainty about the future in terms of climate change and weather patterns. And to my mind, your responsibility is to do that long-range planning that ensures a safe, reliable, predictable water supply, building in conservation, building in repair. I went uh, yesterday to the United Way Community Assessment um, Project report where people talked about trends in health and the environment and the economy, and it occurred to me as I was listening to those that so many of these things depend on a safe, reliable water supply. All these aspects of our life, our quality of life. So I'm asking you to uh, listen to the Water Commission that investigated this thoroughly. Um, I will say that the group Sustainable Water Coalition has uh, gained the support of some major economic groups in this community the Chamber, the Conference and Visitors Council, and the Lodging Association, all of whom realize what um, the Thank importance you, of, of a safe, reliable water supply to this community. Thank you.